The infamous Pat's Rubber Legs coming in hot today. Size 12 Umqua U680. Centipede legs in olive speckled from Montana Fly Company. Ultra UTC thread 70 denier in olive. We're going to start about the hook point. Start taking wraps rearward. There is a reason that I start where I start. I'm going to cover something that I feel like gives a lot of people trouble. That's uh, putting these little mini rubber legs to work. So I'm going to wrap rearward, back up to the hook point, stop, grab my rubber leg, and then I'm going to slide it in between the thread and the hook. Just basically slide it in the bend of the hook. It's going to be in between the two. Up against the thread, up against the hook shank. Now you're going to turn it, run it parallel to the hook, and pull it up and around underneath that thread. This is my trick to getting these legs in there nice and easy. See how it's on the opposite side of the hook now? Good to go. Now I'm just going to pull either forward or rearward on the rubber leg to get it the length that I want. And then <clears throat> I will repeat this step, except I will not go all the way around to the opposite side. I will stop on this side. That was extremely fast, I know, but that's how fast it can be when you get this down. Now you get them even. Since your thread nice and snug, then you pull your rubber legs back, wrap loose wraps towards the back, then cinch it at the very, very back, then wrap forward a little ways. Don't go all the way back to the legs because we're gonna tie in our chenille before we go any further from here. Snip these off your desired length. I like them about half to maybe two thirds the length of the hook shank. All right, here comes the chenille. We're going to peel off and expose the inner parts of the chenille, then uh, tie it down all the way back to where those legs begin. Then we're going <clears> to <throat> wrap forward to the very back of those legs, stop, pull the legs back, then wrap underneath them and all the way to the front. Um, you're going to leave about a sixteenth of an inch, just a small gap behind that bead. And we're going to tie in the next set of rubber legs. So we're going to tie these in, obviously the facing the opposite direction as we did the last ones, but the exact same way. And I'm going to explain here while I uh, battle with this after I get them in there. You'll see here in a second. But uh, I'm going to explain why I started at the back of the hook shank when I started tying the thread in. So right here, after this is all said and done, I'm going to wrap the thread forward to just behind the bead up underneath it, just a smidge, and then take a wrap towards the back at about a 45 degree angle to get it out of the way. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna slide the bead backwards over these legs. And sometimes if you've got too much of a bulk, uh, the opening of this bead isn't enough for you to slide the bead over the thread and the legs and unfortunately if that's the case it may possibly sever your silicone legs but we're almost to that point i'm going to take a 45 degree wrap let it dangle pull the legs back if you pull them tight if you're having trouble if you pull the legs tight it makes them thinner i like to use a hook with a very sharp point to quite literally grab the legs out from in front of the bead because you pretty much can't grab them by your fingers. And once I get both of them caught, we will make sure you use both. Make sure you use both at the same time. If you just do one, you're liable to break it. You just work them through there. Boom, they'll pop out. And now you undo that 45 degree wrap and may take a wrap or two to, uh, to, to secure it. Uh, you can cut this off at the length that you want. And then we're going to start wrapping our chenille. So if you use the same size chenille and the same hook I use, your wraps with your chenille should be three, five, two to three. I know that sounds confusing. You'll get three wraps to the back set of legs, five wraps between the next two sets of legs, and then two to three wraps up to the bead.
Another tip here, as you're doing this, if you'll pull your legs out to where you want them and pull them tight, make them skinny, your chenille will hold them in the place that you want, even if they're not in the right place. If you get your three wraps at the back and you've got a gap, just pull your leg back where you want it and wrap the chenille around it. Now, I always like to stop on top of the hook with a down eye. I've explained this in previous videos as to why. Get three good solid wraps on it. Then I'll go in front of it, get two to three wraps in front of it. Sometimes more than that, depends on it. Take my high dollar clippers here, snip that off, get a couple wraps more. Then we'll take a whip finish. And I like to do two seven term whip finish knots on any flies that allow me to do so. I, uh, I don't really have any trouble with my flies falling apart. I do not like using glue and this seems to do the trick for me. Now we'll snip it off and you've got your finished product. Congratulations.